Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good night, depending on where you are in the world. This is Gloria White, and I'm coming to you from Utah, USA. Today we will be in the final book in the book of Jeremiah in the Old Testament in the King James Version of the Holy Bible, chapter 52. Zedekiah was one and twenty years old when he began to reign, and he reigned eleven years in Jerusalem, and his mother's name was Hamutal the daughter of Jeremiah of Libna. And he did that which was evil in the eyes of the Lord, according to all that Jehoiakim had done. For through the anger of the Lord it came to pass in Jerusalem and Judah, till he had cast him out of his presence, that Zedekiah rebelled against the king of Babylon. And it came to pass in the ninth year of his reign, in the tenth month, in the tenth day of the month, that Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came, he and his army against Jerusalem, and pitched against it and built forts against it round about. So the city was besieged unto the eleventh year of the king of Zedekiah. And in the fourth month, and the ninth day of the month, the famine was sore in the city, so that there was no bread for the people of the land. Then the city was broken up, and all the men of war fled, and went forth out of the city by night by the way of the gate between the two walls, which was by the king's garden. Now the Chaldeans were by the city round about, and they went by the way of the plain. And the army of the Chaldeans pursued after the king, and overtook Zedekiah in the plains of Jericho, and all his army was scattered from him. Then they took the king and carried him up to the king of Babylon, to Riblah, in the land of Hamath, where he gave judgment upon him. And the king of Babylon slew the sons of Zedekiah before his eyes. He slew also all of the princes of Judah in Riblah. Then he put out the eyes of Zedekiah. And the king of Babylon bound him in, ch in chains and carried him to Babylon and put him in prison till the day of his death. Now in the fifth month, in the tenth day of the month, which was the nineteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, king of Babylon, came Nebuzaradan, captain of the guard, which served the king of Babylon into Jerusalem, and burned the house of the Lord and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, and all the houses of the great men burned he with fire. And all the captain of the Chaldeans that were with the captain of the guard break down all the walls of Jerusalem round about. Then Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive certain of the poor of the people and the residue of the people that remained in the city and those that fell away, that fell to the king of Babylon and the rest of the multitude. But Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, left certain of the poor of the land for vine dressers and for husbandmen. Also, the pillars of brass that were in the house of the Lord, and the bases and the brazen sea that was in the house of the Lord, the Chaldeans break and carried all of the brass of them to Babylon. The cauldrons also, and the shovels, and the snuffers, and the bowls, and the spoons, and all the vessels of brass wherein they ministered, they took away. And the basins, and the firepans, and the bowls, and the cauldrons, and the candlesticks, and the spoons, and the cups, that which of gold in gold, and that, of, that, and that which of silver in silver, took the captain of the guard away. The two pillars, one sea, and twelve brazen bowls that were under the bases, which King Solomon had made in the house of the Lord, the brass of all these vessels was without weight. And concerning the pillars, the height of one pillar was eighteen cubits, and a fillet of twelve cubits did compass it. And the thickness thereof was four fingers, it was hollow. And the chapiter, or the capital of the brass, was upon it. And the height of one capitor was five cubits, with network of pomegranates upon the chapters round about, all of brass. 
the second pillar also, and the pomegranates were like unto these. And there were ninety and six pomegranates on the side, and all of the pomegranates upon the network were in hundred round about. And the captain of the guard took Shiriah, and she, Shiraiah, uh, the chief priest, and Zephaniah, the second priest, and the three keepers of the door. He took also out of the city an eunuch, which had the charge of the men of war, and seven men of them that were near the king's person, which were found in the city, and the principal scribe of the host, who mustered the people of the land, and three score men of the land, people of the land, that were found in the midst of the city. So Neb Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, took them and brought them to the king of Babylon, to Relah, Riblah. And the king of Babylon smote them and put them to death in Riblah, in the land of Hamath. Thus Judah was carried away captive out of his own land. This is the people whom Nebuchadnezzar carried away captive in the seventh year, three thousand Jews and three and twenty. In the eighteenth year of Nebuchadnezzar, he carried away captive from Judah eight hundred thirty and two persons. And in the in the three and twentieth year of Nebuchadnezzar, Nebuzaradan, the captain of the guard, carried away captive of the Jews seven hundred forty and five persons. All the persons were four thousand and six hundred. And it came to pass in the seventh, seven and thirteenth year of the captivity of Jehoiakim, king of Judah, in the twelfth month, in the five and twentieth day of the month, that Evel Mirodash, king of Babylon, in the first year of his reign, lifted up his head of Jehoiakim, lifted up the head of Jehoiakim, Chen, Jehoiachin, king of Judah, and brought him forth out of prison, and spake kindly unto him, and set his throne above the throne of the kings that were with him in Babylon, and changed his prison garments, and he did continually eat bread before him all the days of his life. And for his diet there was a continual diet given him of the king of Babylon, every day a portion until the day of his death, all the days of his life. And that is the end of the book of Jeremiah. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, I love you.